just me and the kids this weekend. Fall is my favorite time of year to camp, and the Eastern Sierra is my favorite place to go on a trip like this. So really looking forward to a fun weekend with the kids. Fall is my favorite time of year to camp. The crowds are gone, there is a colder bite to that crisp air, and if you plan things out just right, the colors are amazing. After a nice long drive, the kids are anxious and ready to get out of the truck and spend some time by the campfire. When it's just me out here, I usually keep them buckled in while I set up camp. I did my best to set up camp quickly and got the fire going. tell you I love camping with my friends and normally I don't take the kids just out by ourselves but there's something really really special about that one-on-one -on -one time that you get with your kids out in a spot like this you got their undivided attention and they ask you all sorts of questions like dad are there bears here after our short conversation about wildlife the kids were a little spooked and I think a little tired and so it was time to put them down for the night the temperatures really were starting to drop, so I bundled up the kids and got them ready for bed. I try to make a habit of grabbing some time to myself by the campfire after I put the kids down for the night. And despite the chilly temperatures, it was well worth it tonight. I had an opportunity to watch and photograph the moonrise above the tree line. Well, it's a beautiful night out here from at least what we can see. Had a little bit of a campfire with the kids, but it's pretty nippy tonight. So they're up in the tent and I'm getting ready to join them. We'll see you guys in the morning.
pretty decent morning out here with the kiddos. It's actually about one o'clock now. Uh, we're just enjoying hanging out with them. Packed up camp, really, really loved this campsite. There is a gorge pretty close by. I, pr I specifically did not camp next to that last night, just with the little kids. Uh, I didn't wanna be, there's like a thousand foot cliff, I believe, so I didn't wanna be that close to it. So camped a little bit inland, but me and the kids are gonna go hike out to that right now and check that out. So when it's just me and the kids, I try not to go anywhere too remote. And this place isn't, it's, very, it's not very far off the highway at all. It's not challenging to get to. Um, but I don't think there's a soul out here. Uh, we haven't seen anybody, I haven't heard anybody. It's close enough to the highway that you can kind of hear the highway from time to time, like when there's a big semi going by, but this place is super peaceful. The plan was to kind of go check out somewhere else, and I think we still will, but there's a good chance that if we do stay tonight, we may come back here. We'll have to see what the afternoon brings up. <laughs> you guys are doing great. So we are here. I've actually got the kids right here in front of me. Um, but what, what an awesome little lookout. Now I was doing some research on this place and there are some campsites that you can like camp right along the edge, which I think would be awesome, but obviously not worth the risk when you've got some youngsters. I still wanted to take them out over here just to check it out and take a look, but obviously keeping them in a safe distance back. So we could still see it. This spot has been on my list for years and I'm so glad that I finally camped here. After a beautiful morning near the Owens River Gorge, it was time to hit the trail and see if we could find another great campsite to call home for the night. As I've mentioned time and time again, this is my favorite place to go camping. I think I easily have around a hundred different waypoints marked in my Onyx Off-Road app just in this area alone. So we headed back towards Highway 395 to head north for just a couple miles to the very next waypoint that I had on my list. Waypoints I came to check out were a couple campsites that overlooked those rivers that we just passed. The campsites looked beautiful, but unfortunately they were all occupied. Now I had never really been back this way before, and so I decided to just keep following the trail and see where it led us. So I've been exploring around the area for a while now, and I haven't found anything that I'm really comfortable calling camp for the night. 
the area is amazing. This is a beautiful valley. Um, I've always wanted to explore back here. Didn't quite know this was here. And so I'm really enjoying it, but not a lot of campsites. Uh, just a trail. Um, like I said earlier, I got a little bit more remote than I think I should have. So I'm gonna check back with you guys in a little bit. But for right now, I'm focused on just seeing if I can find a good place to call camp for the night. Or it's getting kind of late in the day, so if we're gonna head home, we should do it quickly. I just feel like the further I go along this trail, just the more beautiful the scenes get. It does help that we're kind of like approaching that golden hour time of day, but you're gonna have to be coming back here for sure. Brooklyn wants to find a camp spot. Dad better get to it. I kind of got carried away this afternoon. Exploring really wasn't much on the agenda today, but every single turn, I just was more and more impressed, and the afternoon light was just so brilliant, I couldn't help myself. The kids had been so good in the truck this afternoon, but they were getting antsy, and honestly, my daughter was starting to feel a little sick, and so I really thought it was important to find a campsite. At first, I swung by those campsites that I wanted to check out earlier, but unfortunately, they were still occupied. I was starting to feel like the situation might be a little bit urgent with my daughter, so I used my drone, which was already up in the air, to just find the first available site I could. Besides the funky control box, I really wouldn't mind calling this home for the night. It had a great view of the Eastern Sierra, Mammoth Mountain right there in the background. I was really enjoying the spot. But as the sun was starting to go down and I was preparing to start to set up camp, something didn't feel right. Something was off and honestly, it wasn't just my daughter. So I decided to make the call and I did something that I've never done before and I may never do again. So about last night, let me explain.
crazy, crazy epic. Kind of sketchy. was that overlook cool or what? I tried to record what I'm gonna tell you now up there, but the 40 mile an hour gusts were just way too much for the microphone I had. Look, I've known that trail has been up there for a couple years now, and I've just never had the time to do it. The views up there were spectacular, but what was really special to me is the valley that was down below is my childhood, where I grew up camping, my parents took me camping every single year, and even as an adult where I kind of started doing it on my own. And if there's one place that I could return to and camp every single year, it would be down there in that valley. So seeing it from that vantage point was amazing. I'm definitely glad we stayed the extra night and were able to go do that. Now, about last night, there were plenty of great campsites that I found, but something felt off to me. Um, and I think it was, I hit a brick wall and I was just overtired. Brooklyn actually was starting to feel sick, but I think she was just over exhausted as well. And I needed just to make the call. I didn't, I didn't feel safe uh, camping with the kids with my mental state um, last night. And sometimes you just gotta do that. Look on these trips, I know a lot of the time you guys see all the good stuff. Um, and that's because I'm too busy, you know, dealing with whatever is going on for me to show you guys some of the more difficult parts. So for you that are, are, are dads, I definitely encourage you to do trips like this with your kids, but go into it with a realistic mindset. Even though in my videos you may see a lot of the good stuff, I'll try to include a little bit more of, you know, the more difficult stuff just from a realistic aspoit, a, aspect in the future. Um, but it is very, very tough camping with a three and five-year-old and last night I just needed to, to call an audible and instead of making the long drive home which I still I don't think I was in the right mindset to make a five six hour drive home either we decided to get a cheap motel get some drive through and uh, watch a movie and knock out and we all woke up super refreshed able to come back out here and enjoy another day of exploring because I, I was not in the right headspace to be able to have another day like this. And so I'm glad I did what I did. And just with the baby coming um, next year, pretty soon it's gonna be three kids. And I'm just gonna have to be realistic about the, the type of trips that I'm doing. And every once in a while, I'm gonna have to have a night like that. And that's okay. And so with that being said, you guys, thank you for watching and coming along on another trip. Um, this one was definitely one for the books. Tons of great memories for the kids. I think they had a great time. Let's ask them what they thought. Hey, did you guys have fun this weekend? Yeah! What was your favorite part? Uh, going to Hawaii. Hawaii? That's a five-year-old for you. No, we didn't go to Hawaii, but we did watch a movie last night, and so maybe that's what she's thinking of, so. With that being said, you guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.